Here is a figurative example. Imagine that you have an orange in your hands. Using a knife, you carefully remove the whole peel from it in a circle, like a spiral, moving from one of its vertices, let's say, conventionally, from point A to another, point B. If you separate this peel from your orange, then in the usual folded state, it will be a spherical shape, echoing contours of the orange. If stretched, it will be similar to a wave-like rope. So, in our figurative example, the orange peel will represent the electron helix, on the surface of which there is an external charge in the area of point A, while the internal charge is in the area of point B on the inside, on the white side of the peel. Any external change in point A on the orange side of the peel will lead to the same instant internal change, but which will be opposite in the power and influence in the points located on the white side of the peel under point B. As soon as the external electron charge decreases, the helix becomes stretched under the influence of the internal potential, and the electron goes into the wave state. When the external charge reappears, which is formed due to an interaction of waves with matter, the helix compresses, and the electron goes into particle state again. In the particle state, the electron has a negative external charge and a left-handed helix. And in the wave state, it has a right-handed helix and a positive external charge. All this transformation happens due to azoismos, 